Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about the Dungeons & Dragons Pokemon Arceus campaign that I am in. I am returning to this campaign after a two-session character death. So I was running a Fampy um, named Fiorn, and he died after two sessions. And I have been cleared by the Storm Dungeon Master to come back into the game with a um, with a Golet, G-O-L-E-T-T. A Golet, if you don't know, is a ground ghost type, which is a very interesting type. It's pretty rare. There's only uh, three Pokemon in, in, in the 1100 canon Pokemon. There's only three Pokemon with this typing. So it's pretty rare. Um, uh, Regi... Rune, Re Rune Regis is the other one. And then there's a Gololin form of, uh, of a Yamask that has the same typing. So um, I just wanted to talk some more about, uh, I'm really fast, I'm absolutely fascinated to be in this campaign. So one, I will say right now, I, I'm, I'm incredibly uh, blessed and really excited to be in this Dungeons Dragons campaign because I have played with the same people for years, uh, you know, um, and the reality is, you know, I broke that group of players um, when I failed to... Um, what caused what caused the break the breakup of that group is um, is a complicated set of catalysts. But I, I take responsibility. I was the host and I was the primary dungeon master, and so it, it's on me, right? And now, what's incredible is I get to come into a new group, and this group is there independent of me, right? Like they were there before me. They um, and they're you know they're they're independent of me, which is really nice it's you know it's it's nice to be coming in and, and only have player responsibilities at the table and it's just delightful because many people get stuck as that forever dm now first of all i'm not convinced that forever dm is really a problem i think it i think it you know if you're you know uh however it is incredibly uh, a blessing to be coming in still able to run in Dungeons and dragons but to be able to be one of the things I realize as a player is just how freeing it is. You're, you're showing up, and all you have to worry about is one one character, right? You don't have to worry about, um, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, literally a hundred entities. I, I call NPCs entities, and you don't have to worry about the politics, the deities, the weather, like. You, it's just so freeing, and so it's. It, I have a game this Friday. We switched it because you know Father's Day. But I really appreciate this group was uh, was thoughtful about that, which I thought was really nice. And so um, this group is is truly uh, an incredible, uh, really independent group of players. And one of the things I'm really seeing is, man, oh man, every single Dungeons and Dragons group has its own. It's like a fingerprint, right? Like it's so unbelievably unique. So what really impresses me with this group is the just the passion of the players at the table. And I will say, not all the pa all the players at the table are equally passionate. But there are at least fifty percent of the players. You could you want to know how how you want to know an engaged player? They have their everybody has their phone, and that that totally makes sense because there's eleven 1 hundred Pokemon. And the, and the dungeon master is going to go, hey, there's a Flygon. And you're like, I don't remember what a Flygon's type are. Not off the top of my head. I'm not the Storm Dungeon Master. I don't have that in my head. Like, you know. So I better look up this Pokemon. But what really shows me, like, half the players have physical notebooks and are taking notes throughout the entire game. There is almost no better way to tell player engagement than a physical... I don't personally, I don't think there's any... I don't think... There is any signal in the world that you have engaged your players more than that they are taking notes during your campaign in a physical notebook. It's just, it, it's, it is the number one signal, right? And the reality, and I, I'm a strong believer in this. I don't believe that you can, um, I don't believe that you can tell a player how, how players are in the game by asking them. Because because they, they want to be nice, they're like, oh, the game's running great, it's wonderful, love it, right? But the reality is, patterns can't be faked, right? And this game, half the players have physical notebooks, and they are taking physical notes as the dungeon master 
runs. That is, and so that's just one thing I'm learning from being in this incredibly unique independent group. And I'm just really excited for Friday's game. And as a player, right? Like, and that's that's pretty exciting. And I'm so, I just wanted to share, I'm really blessed right now. I'm, I'm really in a Dungeons and Dragons sweet spot right now. And after fall of 2022, I did not assume for a second that I would ever be there again. I am super, super excited. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What would re What's really important is when I get to hear your humble opinion. When you get into the com comments and send your traffic, please consider liking, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.